Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. I'm going to show you how to use Sky Scanner for cheap flights. So let us jump in. Of course, we are here on their homepage and that's skyscanner.com. So as you can see on the main part of the page, you can select where you are flying from and then also where you are flying to when you will be doing so and how many people are traveling in total now let us go ahead we're gonna put in here the place that we're coming from so this is new york now what you can do is you can have any one of the airports in new york okay or you can select a specific airport now i'm going to say any because i want as many options as possible and here we are going to select where we are going so let us go and see where we can get some really really nice pizza so we're going to go to italy all right and when you get to the departure um date what we want is this specific dates okay and then there's one way in return so what we want to do is return and even though we want to go on holiday forever we want to not choose specific dates we want to choose flexible dates now the reason we choose flexible dates is um flights will be priced differently in different months of the year given that it has seasons so you can see over here that if you want to travel to italy from new york the best month to go is in november because that is by far the cheapest amount okay of course you can choose where you want to travel but that is giving you the cheapest month now you also want to choose a return date and we want to return in uh, november as well so that's fine of course again you can choose whatever date you want and if you are choosing specific dates it will also give you sort of like the best idea of what days are going to be your cheapest to leave and the cheapest to return but we're going to just go ahead and we're going to leave it as november and then um, you want to select how many people are traveling and then we want to go and hit search now the next page that you will see here you can now see um, these are the cities that you will be um, flying to and just for example let us choose rome okay so here we are now and you can see that we have um the calendar and there are different flights on different days so you can again change your date up at the top and then you can also change the view in which you are seeing it so this is the chart view but really the calendar view works very well so here you can select um the day that you would like to travel so this is the day that you would like to depart and um again you want to try and make sure that you are choosing like the lowest price so we're going to go just for example take on the first and we are going to be returning on the last day so let's just choose the last day um some of the days do have amounts here you can see like the 14th and then we're going to scroll down a little bit and here we can find flights now just a footnote you can explore for hotel accommodation as well but for now we're going to go ahead and look at some flights so here you can see um from new york to rome using um any airport in new york and any airport in rome we also have on the left hand side our filters where you can say um, we can go direct one stop or two stops we have um, different departure times journey durations and then we have different airlines and the different airports now we're gonna keep it like that and what you're gonna do is you can see here there is the best sort of value for money that they've ranked and then we have the cheapest right so we're going to select the cheapest because we're looking for cheap flights and here you can see who you will be flying with so that's norse when you will be leaving um when your connection flight is where it will be and then what time you will be arriving and where it will be so what you all have to do here is just hit the select button and now you're going to go up over here and tap on continue and here you can go ahead and do a self-transfer um, if you want to know more about self-transfers you can go ahead and uh, read up about it and then it says you are departing from JFK but returning to and then you can also 
um, book your tickets right from here. Now, I want to give you a bit of advice. There's a few things that you can do to lower this price, right? The, the closer you are to booking, the cheaper your flights may be, okay? And that's one thing. The next thing is, it is always a good idea to go to the airline that you are flying with and booking directly with the airline. There's a whole heap of benefits just by going directly. So, I mean, Kiwi.com is not associated with Skyscanner. So if we are unfamiliar with Kiwi.com, um, just for example, let's not take a chance and give them our money and book a ticket. Let's rather go to the actual airline and book our ticket there. And chances are you will get a slight bit more of a discount. And then the last bit of advice that I must give you is if you are looking for travel plans and booking air tickets and so forth, it's always a good idea to use an incognito window or clear your catch and your, your history um, on your browser. And this is solely because um, when they see your request coming through, what they want to do is they want to know who you are and how many times you've traveled. Now, if you are a new traveler or new to traveling, let's say you've only booked an air ticket once or this is your first time, likely you will get a better rate because they want you to travel with them. So they want to give you a good rate. Okay, they want to make a good first impression on you. The second thing is, now I use a browser extension, it's called Hola VPN. And using a VPN allows you to change the country or the region that you are browsing from. And this basically allows you to browse from different countries and book tickets from different countries because airlines will give different countries different rates. And there you go. Now you can book a cheap ticket in Skyscanner and save some bucks and enjoy your holiday. If this was a helpful guide, drop us a big old thumbs up and we will see you in another awesome video. Happy traveling, folks. Cheers.